Hello everyone. I am Saretha. The topic I am uh, sharing in this video is MQTT protocol. It's the message queuing telemetry transport protocol. The content of this uh, topic is what's the MQTT and its characteristic, the model and its message format and the quality of service it provides and uh, its uh, connect subscribe message sequence and publish message flows, uh, flow and uh, the MQTT SN. So let's start. What is MQTT first of all? MQTT is a in short it's a protocol to access to connect uh, computer to the applications so mqtt is a lightweight message queuing and transport protocol and it's uh, it is suitable for transport of telemetry data telemetry data means the sender and receiver are at distant distance so you can imagine like the sensor is sensing some data like temperature and the data is sent to a, a receiver which is far away and mqtt is very lightweight and thus suited for machine to machine and all wireless sensor network applications and ultimately you can say it is suitable for iot applications and the example you can say i uh, said uh, in short that you are having a sensor temperature sensor at one place and some applications uh, to control the uh, data so the sensor data the temperature data will be sent to the application that application you will call it as broker or simply the server and that application will send some activation information to other client say that uh, that information is used for switching on or off ac or you are using it for setting the temperature so you can say the sensor is connected to the server and server is connecting to the ac so that is the way it is acting means sensor is not directly connecting connecting to the ac so according to the data received at the mqtt broker the broker or the server is called the MQTT broker. Here you can see the MQTT broker, several applications it is connecting to. These all are the sensor nodes. According to the sensor value sending to the broker, it will control all other applications. And you know the OSI layer model. And in that, the application layer, we need protocols like HTTP. You are very familiar with HTTP protocol. Uh, and uh, the other protocols we are going to have with is OAP and MQTT. The MQTT telemetry transport protocol. MQ message queuing telemetry transport protocol. The characteristics uh, features are like lightweight as I told you, lightweight message queuing and transport protocol asynchronous communication model with messages and the low overhead for low network bandwidth applications and uh, publish and subscribe model uh, and it is uh, uh, it provides decoupling of data producer and data consumer through topics simple protocol aimed at low complexity low power low code footprint implementations and runs on connection oriented transport protocol 
TCP protocol basically to be used in conjunction conjunction with six LO W pan. Six LO W pan means six is for IPv6 uh, uh, protocol and W pan you know the wireless pan. So you you will use this MQTT with six low W pan connections. So MQTT caters for network disturbance disturbances. So in short, you can say it will support for asynchronous communication. Asynchronous communication means the sensor and uh, the AC. You you don't need to make sensor available for the uh, AC or AC available for the sensor. The data from sensor will be stored in the, uh, collected at the server or you can say the MQTT broker and uh, whenever it is the uh, AC needs the data, it will absorb or uh, subscribe from the, or get it from the broker. So there is no need that both should be connected simultaneously. That's why asynchronous communication. So here you can say it will be always subs published subscribe model. I uh, will uh, come to that later on. MQTT is a machine to machine IoT connectivity protocol. It was designed as an extremely lightweight published subscribe messaging transport protocol. As I told you, it is useful in connecting remote locations where a small cord footprint. Cord footprint means you can say the number of lines of cord in that particular implementation of logic is the minimum. So that's why it is called small cord footprint. So where bandwidth is lower, where the processing speed is lower, or you can say the uh, memory low availability is lower, or you can say power uh, uh, availability is lower. So all these things are applicable in all the IoT applications. So we can use MQTT in all IoT applications. So here you can see the uh, uh, how you can uh, implement, not implement, how you can represent the MQTT system. So there will be a uh, group of publishers, the devices, and uh, it will be connecting, sending message to MQTT broker or otherwise simply the server and uh, to that data that subscribers will be subscribed to. MQTT, the origin is, you can say, developed in 1999 and it is under OASIS and ISO standard lightweight published subscribe network protocol. And it is usually runs over TCP IP. So whatever security TCP IP is providing, all these are available with MQTT also. So it is very secure and very efficient from the bandwidth point of view. And as I told you, it is very power saving also. And it uses published subscriber paradigm instead of request response paradigm in HTTP. And it uses binary messages to exchange information with lower overhead. The MQTT protocol implements public subscriber paradigm means it decouples a client that publishes a message. So the thing it is the publisher, publisher, the sensor devices will send data to the server and this sensor and the subscriber devices, say mobile phone or uh, uh, through some other devices you are connecting, getting the data of the uh, sensors from the broker or the server. So these three, these three are not connected to each other. They are connecting through the MQTT broker. That's why you, uh, you can say it's a decoupled paradigm. 
So only things is MQTT to MQTT publisher is connected to and to uh, from MQTT uh, you can subscribe for data. So obviously the main component in MQTT system is the MQTT broker or simply the server. And the main task of broker is dispatching message to the client or whoever wants the data, it will give the data depending upon the availability of data from the publishers or the sensors. And it is not like it is collecting all the data from the sensors, it is dispatching all the data to the receivers. Uh, it, the uh, main uh, idea behind it is every device which is publishing, say the sensor one, it will sense the temperature, let it be temperature. That temperature sensing uh, the data, the temperature will be sent to the broker. And uh, so the temperature sense will be sent to the server and it will be under the topic temperature you can give the name of the topic as temperature it will be string you can decide the name of the topic so let it be the uh, uh, topic be the temperature so the sensor one sensing temperature sending data to the topic temperatures which is under the control of the broker and this temperature, if the subscriber one, subscriber one needs it, it has to subscribe to the temperature topic under the broker. So the connectivity between the subscriber client to the broker is based on the topic. And similarly, you can say the publisher sending data, each publisher will send the data to the broker based on the topic not simply randomly sending so each data you have you will be having uh, under a topic so different different topic you can have with the server or the mqtt broker as i told you the subscriber and the and the uh, publishers means the sensors and the devices it is accessing may not be connecting to each other may not be knowing each other the existence of the two may not be knowing to each other it is totally controlled by the broker so in their activity the sharing of data the sending and receiving is totally controlled by the broker MQTT broker exactly the server otherwise so here you can have an example like you are having node red which will be uh, we, you can say it is a uh, client which will be sending data what the data uh, you are uh, sending is you need to switch on or switch off the light so it will send the data and uh, it will control the light and similarly the data can be sent. So the MQTT, the NDS system MQTT server will is sending to the device. Now you can say from the device it is sending data and so that it can have the data of like temperature, the device which is sensing temperature, it will be sending data to the node red. So it can accordingly you can you can sense the temperature. So the basic uh, uh, technical points you need to know under MQTT are publish, subscribe, and the messages, topics, and the broker. So let's uh, go. Let's uh, see what is publish and subscribe. So the device one is having some data to. Uh, publish means uh, a sensor 
need to send the sensor temperature data so it will publish and the device which need the temperature it will subscribe so who needs the data they will subscribe who is having the data they will publish it this device who is uh, publishing it can get data also so it can be acting as a publisher it can be acting as a uh, subscriber so any device any client otherwise it can be a publisher it can be a subscriber so depending upon the topic they will be always subscribing or publishing so that is the main point it will be subscribing publishing depending upon the topics so here the example here it is the device want to publish or control a light and it can be message can be on or off so it can be for the uh, office or home light and it can send the data so that it can keep it as on or off so in a better way you can see here so so many devices are there say some device which is sensing the light intensity in a room it is sending that data to the broker to the broker that broker will send the that intensity of light is there with the broker now the say the second device which is uh, which will tell you say say it is with the proximity sensor or something it will tell you the door is open or closed so that data is under door that topic name let it be the door and the device 3 or the sensor 3 that is accessing data uh, that is uh, sensing data uh, which will show you the uh, room temperature you can say so that you can open or close the window okay so the first device it will give you the intensity of light so you can say the lamp uh, topic you can say it as lamp so the device which needs to switch on or off it has to publish to the data call the topic called lamp the device which control the door it has to pub, uh, uh, subscribe to the broker using the uh, topic called door and the device which control the window and uh, that has to subscribe the broker through the topic window so that is all about the publish subscribe paradigm so the brokers you can say so many brokers are available free so free ways are there but uh, narpai you can use uh, mosquito mosquito broker you can use so here you can say with mosquito and no dread you can uh, use the mqtt mqtt client server uh, paradigm you can implement a project and where this is your uh, mqtt uh, broker and uh, it will support you sending the data uh, and uh, the supporting processor and uh, the clients clients can be like there also there will be processor will be there with the clients clients can be you can say the sensors just like the example i told you one side the client will be the sensors the other side the client will be the light or you can say the ac or you can say some other devices which is controlled through the switches and uh, you can say the model is like they'll be on the top of tcp ip protocol layer you will be having mqtt uh, client and uh, that client can be as i told you any client can be acting as a publisher or a subscriber and now it can start a session it can uh, connect to the subscribers depending upon the topics and uh, tcp 
uh, connections basically they will be connected to each other depending upon the protocols and uh, the client can be simultaneously publisher or subscriber because it supports the asynchronous communication and the broker uh, it runs on the topic means all the servers will be uh, end up collecting data and uh, sending data based on the topic and in uh, mqtt you can say there will be sessions and subscriptions sessions means the attachment of a client to a server you can say means how the client or the sensor is connecting to the mqtt broker or uh, the ac is connecting to the mqtt broker so if it is connecting that session total session it is called and subscription subscription means uh, it is connecting to a topic so it is uh, means you are particularly to a topic you are connecting and obviously whenever it is topic you can say transient or durable uh, subscriptions possible transient means here you can say the session started and closed and subscription same time starting and closing it in between if messages are coming it will drop the message because there is no provision to save it and means because subscription is already closed that's why so here you can say subscription means subscri subscri subscribing to the topic okay so there is no subscription it will lose the data here m3 and m4 and finally when it starts with the subscri subscription new subscription m5 and m6 you it will get but if you are having a durable subscription the subscri subscription will be long, lifelong so where you will not lose m3 and m4 it will be received by the client as soon as it creates opens a new session so once the new session is ready they will get the previous session previous messages let's go through the message format mqtt message format so you can say in http you will be having that entire message and their frame of the message you will be having a header you will be having a tail and you will be having the actual message which is called the payload and in that you will be having a portion like sender address receiver address all the uh, encryption uh, uh, what you are going to apply all these details will be there in the frame so here also in this message so many bytes of data together as a frame it will be sending so the first uh, byte one and byte two by two of the message it will be all about the fixed header of mqtt okay fixed header means all these things will be always there so here it will uh, first of four bits you will say the message type second uh, the next uh, bit will be dup duplicate message means duplicate message flag means you are sending the same message again so you will be saying this is a duplicate of the previous one then the next one five and six the uh, six next two bits will be quality of service levels quality of service levels can be three types it can be zero quality zero means or quality one or qos two the whenever it is qos is zero the meaning is at most once delivery means uh, it is just like fire and forget means you are sending the data and uh, you will not bother about the receiver got it or not okay the thing it is you will just send it and you will forget about it you will delete the data also from the sender side so here you can say the example like uh, the temperature sensor it will continuously sense, sense the temperature so one or two data in between if you are losing uh, it, it is not receiving at the uh, broker side 
under temperature topic then also it it will work smoothly so you can depend uh, for a qos is equal to 0 in that temperature sensor device case uh, client case but if you feel that the message you send should be delivered so here we can go with quality one so the name it will be at least once so the thing here it is you will be expecting a acknowledgement okay so delivered acknowledgement you will be getting and the second quality of service two is exactly once delivery in quality one what happens is until the acknowledgement one sensor is temperature sensor is sending data and once it is not getting it will wait for acknowledgement from the uh, delivered point and if it is not getting the acknowledgement it will after a time delay it will send again it will send the duplicate again so here repetition of data sending will be there duplicate same messages may be sending several times to avoid the same message sending several times you will be you can go to quality of service number two exactly once delivered means you will make sure that one data you send it example you can say it is about a pacemaker data from a patient and you are sending through uh, sending the data through broker to a doctor so the thing here it is you need the guarantee that data is reaching the doctor so once the data is sent you need the acknowledgement and the doctor doesn't need multiple data about the patient so what do you need it is you need to send some uh, data and once the acknowledgement is coming then if some error error message is coming from the other side you will then only you will resend the data so you are making sure that the data from the patient reaches the doctor only once means exactly once delivery you are making sure and uh, the remaining length and op optional variable length header and now the variable length message payload so here is our actual message we will be attaching here so we were discussing about the retain bit in uh, mqtt header so this retain whenever it is one the meaning is publish message instruct the server to keep the message for this topic when a new client subscribe to the same topic the server sends the retained message not the freshest message means last non good value it will send to the new subscriber okay the example here is one publisher it is sending let it be the temperature sensor sending the temperature 78 degrees centigrade that is uh, sent to the broker or the server that is subscribed by the subscriber a so he when he is trying to access the data he will get the data 78 degree okay and then now the latest good non value is 78 degree but the subscriber new subscriber without even uh, sub, without even publishing anything he can get this temperature data so the subscriber b when it is subscribing it will after getting the subscription acknowledgement subscription of is uh, okay done then you can subscriber b can get the data but it is it is obviously it should connect to the data under the topic temperature so it will get the data not directly from the 
sensor here. So the data, latest data, last known good value data will be submitted to the second subscriber. So means where when the subscriber B gets the data, the actual payload, the data will be with a flag called retain equal to one. That retain equal to one means it is the old data, but it is the latest to good value data. So means it doesn't need to wait the temperature sensor to update the data, then only it will be getting data. No, nothing like that. You can get the last year non-good value. So we were discussing about the quality of MQTT protocol. Quality can be 0, 1, 2. It is uh, working on TCP IP. So whatever is the basic uh, security TCP IP providing, MQTT also will be having supported with that. And if it is quality of zero, it is at most one delivery. If it is quality level one, then it is like the at least one's delivery. And the quality of two means you are saying maximum at uh, maximum once, exactly once, okay? So exactly once we are avoiding the duplicate events. We are avoiding the duplicate events. So it may lead to incorrect actions. The connect subscribe message sequence. You can say the client and the server means uh, you can say the uh, topic let it be temperature again so you will be uh, familiar with that so that sensor the client the topic is temperature server is here so tcp connection uh, setup is done and it is trying to connect to the mqtt server and uh, now once the connection is uh, okay, the sensor will get connection acknowledgement message. When it is connection is done, the session will start here. Session will start here. And now it has to, only connection to the server is done. Now uh, you have to, sensor how to tell which is the, what is the topic, which is the topic you are subscribing to. So you have to say the topic here, subscribe topic X, Y, Z, let it be temperature. And now there, when you are subscribing to the topic, your subscription uh, will start, that life cycle will start. And once it is subscription is uh, uh, accepted by the server, MQTT broker, then it will, the broker will send a subscription acknowledgement to the sensor. And once it is ready, it will publish whatever is the temperature data, it can publish to the MQTT broker, or it can get some control state data from the broker. And now, once the things are done, data transfer is done you can unsubs unsubscribe means the sensor can unsubscribe from the temperature topic so here what it is doing is one it is an unsubscription message sent to the broker to the broker then the subscription lifetime or the cycle will close and once the usage is done you can even you will get the acknowledgement from the MQTT broker. When their thing is done, so client can disconnect from the MQTT. So end of the session life cycle. So session starting, session closing, controlled by the request from the sensors or the client. And now let's uh, discuss about MQTT SN. SN is for sensor networks. Here we are uh, 
mainly discussing about wireless sensor networks so wireless means it is not supported by tcp ip as transport layer they have their own protocol stack maybe zigbee or maybe bluetooth or whatever it is wi-fi or something like that and uh, in such mac layer what we need to how we will be connecting to all the mqtt it is supported by uh, tcp ip on the top of tcp ip mqtt works so in that case mqtt which is based on tcp ip cannot be directly run on wsl so we need some gateways gateways means these wireless networks cannot connect to the other networks which is directly on tcp ip we need some gateway to connect these two so here the network may be supported by zigbee and here it will be uh, with the support of gateway the data will be transferred to our mqtt broker mqtt broker will send the data to other devices say mobile phone from mobile phone you can switch on switch off swipe it your light or ac will be switch on or off so that is the difference when you are actually coming to wireless sensor networks so you don't have tcp ip with support from the wireless sensor network you need the support of zigbee or some other network technology a protocol stack and uh, with the support of gateway you will be connecting to mqtt broker and uh, finally mqtt to the other clients or the subscribers and let's see what are, are the advantages of mqtt mqtt already we discussed all these things let's go through once again it will mqtt distribute formation of network efficiently and the scalability is very easy because uh, the clients from one side the sensor devices is one side the other devices like light and ac and all this door or window or uh, tv or whatever devices is on other side so between these two uh, clients uh, there is no direct connectivity both are connected to the mqtt server or broker uh, based on the topics so you can easily add on devices on both the sides we can add clients uh, very easily reduce network bandwidth consumption dramatically <laughs> means the data you are sending is uh, binary and it supports uh, all the uh, frame structure uh, which support the bandwidth the entire frame length will be minimum so bandwidth requirement will be minimum reduce update rates to seconds very well suited for remote sensing and control and uh, maximize available bandwidth remote sensing and control means obviously the sensor will sense the data it will be sending to you can say the example of like you are having a big uh, shopping mall floor say so you are uh, you will be having different temperature sensors set in different locations you want to control the temperature of the uh, control the ac there so different sensors it will send data to the mqtt server the broker that broker uh, let the topic be temperature that temperature the ac uh, say five uh, acs are there five units are there that five units will be subscribing to that temperature topic so it will get the recent updated temperature from the broker and uh, according to the control it will increase the temperature or decrease the temperature so that's the way it will be working and since the data 
footprint is uh, lesser, the bandwidth usage will be lesser. It, uh, you can say it's, uh, the same uh, point, you can say it, it is a library lightweight one and uh, permission based security because it's uh, always checking the uh, security uh, provided by the TCP IP and also uh, you can use all these things in oil and gas industry and also any industry you can use this and in Amazon they are using Facebook Messenger they are using and uh, the major businesses they are using it and uh, save development time it's very easy you will be having a broker you will be attaching sensors you will be attaching devices based on the sensor value to work so send your system is very simple publish subscribe protocol connects more data with less bandwidth compared to polling protocols and the quality of service you can mention so it can be zero one two depending upon the data secure data of delivery you needed and that's all about uh, mqtt and using uh, mosquito rpi and uh, red node you can implement it very easily and uh, let's see about the implementation on next video